What do you do if you love good coffee, but you travel a lot and you're stuck with hotel coffee most mornings? Stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to share with you my solution to having good coffee on the road. Hi, I'm Abraham Lavoie, and I am actually here in Kathmandu, Nepal right now in the beautiful Hotel Tibet International right in the middle of downtown Kathmandu. I love good coffee. I make good coffee at home. I try to have good coffee on the road, but most hotels that I'm in have a Keurig. Yuck. Or if I'm international, they have usually a electric kettle and some instant coffee, Nescafe or something. That's fine if you just need a caffeine fix, but I've developed a solution to having great coffee on the road. Let me show you what I do. So I put together a coffee kit that I bring with me anytime that I travel, and I've got this little canvas bag that was very inexpensive, and in it I have, first of all, the beans. This time I brought Blue Bottle with me. Um, I love Blue Bottle. It's a delicious coffee. And always bring whole beans, which means you need a grinder. And I bring my hand grinder. By the way, I'll link all this stuff in the description below so you can find it. Uh, this particular grinder I've had for probably six or seven years. I even use it frequently in my office. Um, and it's never given me any problems. Excellent. And then when I'm making coffee, I need an AeroPress. Yes. And uh, the AeroPress requires paper filters. So I bring along a supply of paper filters. And then last but not least, a ceramic coffee mug. Now in this particular hotel, I am in Kathmandu. They provided some ceramic mugs, but many uh, hotels only have paper coffee cups, and I don't want that. And so uh, this is my coffee situation, and I'll show you exactly how I make it. First, of course, it starts with the water. And in most parts of the world, you do not want to drink the tap water. So bottled water for coffee. It's purified, it's gonna make a much better cup of coffee. And so we're gonna start that boiling while we grind our beans. And so this particular grinder, I'm gonna fill it up. This grinder has a little sweet measuring window, so I'm just gonna fill it up to exactly where it um, fills up the window. Pour it into the topper, put it all together, and grind. Now, I prefer to use the upside down method when it comes to brewing uh, in an AeroPress. It goes this way, but uh, if you can search around, find other people's opinions, I've found that the upside down method is a little bit more uh, rich tasting. Uh, it's, it kind of acts like a, a pour over, but also a French press. So I'm going to first pour my grounds into the AeroPress. Put my grinder back together. I'm gonna take some of my water and just wet the filter. It also warms the mug just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do this like a pour over where you simply first moisten the grounds and let that sit just for a few moments while I pour out this water. Then I'm going to pour it in, just like if it were a pour over, slowly and in a circular motion. 
you want, you can spin the spin the AeroPress too. I do that sometimes. Just imagine how good this coffee smells right now. Much better than an instant Nescafe packet or a Keurig. Beautiful. I give it a little stir with the stirrer that comes with every AeroPress. Then I'm gonna put on the filter. And then I like cream in my coffee, mostly at home. I use oat milk. I couldn't bring oat milk along, so I bought these little packets of Coffee Mate. They're like two bucks for a box of 24 at Walmart or anywhere else. And then you just invert carefully your AeroPress and press. And now I have an amazing, freshly brewed, freshly ground cup of delicious coffee that I can enjoy when I'm traveling anywhere in the world, including Kathmandu. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content, and I hope to see you again soon. Fantastic.